what is going on guys this is young link jr um just want to honor the victims but um especially uh tate mirror who was 16 years old at the time and um he was a football player at oxford high school his position was he was a running back he was a tight end and also too he was a middle linebacker when he played defense as a linebacker um he you know he pretty much was leader of the defense he had to call like a lot of plays at the top plays and uh, that was a big role for him and um sadly he lost his life man in, in a patrol car when he was uh, due to his injuries he was on his way uh, to a hospital and what what happened was he during this horrific act you know his bravery uh tate mirror ended up uh, attempting to disarm the shooter and you know you know it, it kind of led to a crazy result man um he, but he ended up on uh, saving like thousands of people a thousand students in that school man um it was it was just crazy like i said it was a video and uh, in the comment section i was talking about my father-in-law it was a it was a video where it was students and uh, a teacher in a classroom. And I guess, you know, this is before, you know, the shooter was actually, it was in custody. He was walking around the hallway. He was, you know, he knew that the students was in hiding. He was banging on one of the classroom doors. And because uh, one of the kids was recording him and putting it on TikTok, uh, it was just ridiculous. And he was like, hey, you know, I I'm the sheriff, you know, open up. And then when he said, bro, <laughs> that's when they knew like okay this is a cue like what sheriff's gonna say bro and they can tell by his voice and they end up luckily they escape at the back door so they had a back door and uh, a lot of them um they escaped safely which was a good thing man uh, i'm glad they were smart enough not to open that door that was very cautious uh, kudos to that teacher but i mean it was uh it was pretty ridiculous they said um the shooter right now that's in custody he's 15 years old he's a sophomore his name is ethan crumbly and um, Mr. Crumbly, he's uh, according right now, is still an ongoing investigation. They retrieved the gun. They got him, you know, after he killed like three people and injured like eight. Um, he says he's not cooperating with police. Um, the students that he killed, man, they were very, like, so good, like, in their communities. They were really great in school. Uh, you have Madison um, Baldwin. Uh, I believe she was 15 years old. I mean, she was... She was, uh, you know, a good girl, you know, a good young woman. Um, she had a scholarship to several colleges, you know, based on her academics. And then you had um, uh, Hannah, I think you got Hannah. Um, if I'm not pronouncing, I think it was Hannah St. Juliana, I believe. But she was, um, you know, the co-captain of the captain of the volleyball team. You know, very, very successful woman in that school. Then you had um, Justin Schilling. He worked at um, a kitchen in Lake Orion, and he was a co-captain of the bowling team. You know, these kids, man, you know, it's it's unfortunate, man. You know, you don't want to just worry about your safety at school, you know. And, of course, um, a, lot of, a lot of schools might not have metal detectors because they don't want to do the funding. It's just so much that goes on, man, in so many levels. But uh, with Tate Mirror, uh, it's been signed on change.org, and I'll probably, I'm going to be a good advocate of that, too, um, as the, after I finish recording this video that uh it's been they have at least like eighty three thousand signatures right now to change the football stadium from the wildcast oxford wildcast stadium names to take mirror after him to honor him because he was a legend not only on the field but off the field they said that man was very charismatic he actually just came back from a visit uh from the university of toledo he had, and according to his player profile he was going to go he had interests in going to a school like michigan state university Wayne State University, Texas A&M University, Grand Valley State University, and Big Grand Rapids, man, Big Rapids. So, I mean, it seemed like he was very promising, man. You know, even the Costa head coach was like, yeah, this this kid is, uh, he's very special, you know, on the field, really good, man. You know, he was grabbing interceptions. He actually had a 22-yard reception for a touchdown. And they said he's very smart in utilizing his legs and his speed to gain yardage and, and scoring touchdowns, and he was well coached. And the fact that, you know, as a freshman made it, you know, to varsity, that's very difficult. And he actually did that, man. Um, Oxford Wildcats, they started off 0-3. They had a rough start, but he was just like, hey, man, you know, he still was continuously to be motivated. They still were working hard. He didn't down this team. He said, listen, on the way we can uh, overcome this and rebuild, he's like, we got to love and trust one another. One another. That's the only way we can recover. And, man, you know, it was just it was just a crazy thing, man. Just putting yourself in that situation, the teachers, man, like, they got to go through that. It's crazy, man, because I don't know if there's going to be any laws. Like, hey, are you going to require for the teachers to get some active shooting training as far as, like, carrying a concealed pistol weapon? Because, like, Michigan is an open carry state. You know, you're allowed to have a weapon on, on school grounds, but not concealed. 
And the thing is, you know, it, it's, it's so much stuff going on, like, should teachers be armed, you know, to try to prevent the situations like that? Should they be allowed to neutralize threats, like active shooters in, in a way? Like, it's just so many things, man, because even churches, people shooting up church, people shooting up all kinds of places, man. So we don't know what the motive is, you know, at the end of the day, I still believe like, you know, uh, cause there's responsible gun owners and there's, there's, there's crazy ones. You know, this one, obviously this was really uncalled for, man, just for these kids to lose their lives in so many ways, man. Um, cause this, these are the generation, you know, these are the next generation here. We need, we need their minds, you know, we need their hearts, their love. And uh, the fact that someone just acting in a demonic way and just taking someone's life for whatever reason, it's just, um, it's only a demon. It's only like, you know, just Satan's is providing for Satan's kingdom at the end of the day, man. Like I said, we all on the spiritual war here. And um, my condolences to the family that's going through this, seriously. But with Tate Mirror, man, um, I commend him for doing that, um, putting his life on the line, literally just to save thousands of people in that school. Um, that's, he has my up upright respect, you know, especially to the people who, um, you know, who's still living. And, you know, they went through that stuff, man. And they found a way to, you know, protect their students. Uh, I'm really proud of them. And the students protecting other students, man. And, and to trusting their intuition not to go to school. Because I believe he posted on social media that he was going to shoot up the school. Um, the people that was taking that serious, man. It's just crazy so many ways, man. Uh, I, I was just, I'm just blessed. Like, I was just fortunate enough, like, when I was going to school, like, we had fights and stuff. But it wasn't, like, you know, to the point um, in Michigan, like, you know, I was worrying about somebody shooting up the school. But... Uh, I remember when I was in track and field at Harrison, they shut it down now, it was in Farmington Hills, Michigan. We went against Oxford and track, and they were pretty good. You know, I heard they were pretty good. I think they came over here. I don't think we was over there, but yeah, it's 35 miles north of Detroit. But um, yeah, it's a really you know, decent city, small city, nice city. Uh, I know some people that actually live out in the Lake Orient area too that I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis, man. But uh, it's just, it's really unfortunate, but I just want to give a tribute to, um, like I said, to, to these victims out here, um, you know, um, seriously, especially to Tate Mirror, um, you know, his, his legacy will always live, you know, forever, man, you know, putting it all on the field and off the field as well, um, yeah, he had a bright, really a bright future ahead of him, but if I get any more information, uh, I'm gonna post it on here, like I said, I will do, but right now, they said they got the suspects, Ethan Crumbly, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be tried as a dog. Michigan doesn't have the death penalty, unfortunately, so, but he should do life. Seriously. Um, there's no excuse, man. And I think his parents, too, they know something was wrong with him, too. This was before the shooting that, you know, he was acting kind of mentally impaired, like something was going on with him. They had some concern, and for some reason, he just grabbed a gun from the home and just <laughs> started shooting up kids. This is crazy, man. I couldn't believe it. But um, cause it, this kind of, this this dear heart to me because I'm from Michigan, you know, and I'm kind of familiar with that area in Oxford. I've been there like a few times, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's your boy Only Junior, man. Um, got to your like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and like I said, my condolences to the to family, man, the victims in that horrific uh, shooting. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and um, I'm probably put the you know the change.org uh, petition in the description box all you gotta do just click the link boom and sign it and um, they can change the stadium to his name to honor him you guys take care i'm out deuces